Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to solve the circuit where we worked on on the previous video where we showed how we can take something that looks in this form and turn into a model that makes it easier to then find the Kirchhoff voltage loops and then solve for the currents, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to solve for I1 and I2 in our circuit by first setting it up as a model like this. Notice that in this case, the mutual inductance is going to be J3 omega. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to sum up all the voltages around both of the loops. So first on loop one, we're going to do KVL for loop one. So we sum up all the voltages from here to here. That's a gain of 12 volts at zero degrees phase angle. So that's 12. Here we have a voltage drop, but notice we have a negative reactance. So it's minus a negative J4 times I1. And then we have a voltage drop across here, so we have a minus J5 times I1. And then we have a voltage gain. This is, the, this is what we call the uh, induced voltage from the other circuit and the, the mutual coupling here. So we have a, a voltage gain of plus 3I2, so plus J3I2. And so when we add up all the voltages, it adds up to zero. Now all we have to do here is solve this for one of the currents in terms of the other. What we're going to do is we're going to combine these two and solve for I1 in terms of I2. So this gives us 12 minus times the minus is plus, but this is minus, so it's a minus J1 times I1 plus J3 I2 equals zero. And then solve for I1. Let's move this to the other side and turn the equation around. So we end up with uh, J I1 is equal to 12 plus J3 I2. And then we divide both sides of the equation by J. So divide this by J, divide that by J, divide this by J. And here we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by J. So here we get J cancels J. We get I1 is equal to, this is a negative 1 times J12 or negative J12. And over here, the J's cancel out. We have plus 3 I2, which gives us our first equation where we have I1 in terms of I2. So now we're going to do the same with the second loop. We're going to add up all the voltages. So we have KVL2. Start over here. Here's the, here's the voltage gain because of the voltage induced by the other circuit and the, the uh, mutual coupling. So we have J3I1. That's a voltage rise from here to here. Then we have a voltage drop because we move in the same direction as the current. So it's minus J6 times I2. And again, a voltage drop minus 12 I2. And that add, adds up to zero. And again, what we want to do here is solve for I1 in terms of I2. So let's see here. So that gives us J3 I1 is equal to, when we move this to the right side, a plus J6 I2 and a plus 12 I2. And then we divide both sides by J3, J3 and J3 and J3. So the J3s cancel out. We have I1 here. Uh, J's cancel out, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2I2. And here, we multiply both the top and the bottom by J. We get a negative 3 in the bottom. So we have negative 3 goes into 12, negative 4, so that's negative J4I2. And so there's our second equation with I in terms of I1 in terms of I2. Now all we have to do here is solve those two simultaneously. We set one equal to the other to eliminate I1 which gives us 2I2 minus J4I2 is equal to minus J12 and plus 3I2. And of course, we're going to solve this here for I2. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring this over the other side. No, let's bring this over. So we have a minus J12 goes to here. That becomes a plus J12 is equal to, we have a 3I2 and a 2I2 goes to the other side. It's minus 2I2. That gives us just an I2. So 3 minus 2 is I2. And this goes to the other side, becomes a plus J4I2. 
So now we can isolate I2. So we can say that J12 is equal to I2 times 1 plus J4. And finally, I2 is equal to uh, J12 divided by 1 plus J4. And let's see here uh, how we can figure that out. Well, this is equal to 12 with a phase angle of 90 degrees divided by here. Let me need a calculator. Uh, where did I leave my calculator? Here it is, my trusted calculator. So we have 16 plus 1, that's 17. Take the square root of that. That's 4.123. So that's uh, 4.123 with a phase angle of 4 divided by 1. So 4, take the inverse tangent, that gives us 75.96 degrees, 75.96 degrees. Okay, so let's finish this up. We have I2 is equal to 12 divided by 4.13, 12 divided by 4.123, that's 2.91. With a phase angle of 90 minus 75, 96, that would be 14.04 degrees. And there we have it, our first current, I2. All we have left to do is find the current I1. And which one do I like best? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Now well, let's take this one right here. Okay. So we have, don't have a lot of board space left. We have I1 is equal to... 2 minus j4 times i2 and i2 is solved right here so what i can do is i can then write that i1 is equal to this here that would be uh, 16 plus 4 that's 20 take the square root of 20 which is 4.472 4.472 with a phase angle of minus 4 and 2 that would be uh, minus 2 Take the inverse tangent, that gives us minus 63.43 degrees. Minus 63.43 degrees. Wow, I'm really running out of board space. So that's, so that's the equivalent of this in magnitude and phase angle format. And then I multiply the times I2, which is multiply times 2.91 with a phase angle of 14.04 degrees. So when I multiply that, I get I1, which is equal to 6 point, no, let's see, 4.472 times 2.91, that's 13.01, with a phase angle of, let me, uh, 63.43 negative plus 14.04 equals, uh, minus 49.39 degrees. Of course, that would be in terms of amps, so I1, and that would be also in terms of amps, I2. And so those are the two currents that we found by first converting from our circuit with the mutual coupling like this into a cir two circuits which are mutually coupled, but instead we represented the induced voltages because of the mutual coupling. From that, we can set up our two Kirchhoff's voltage loop equations, where we have I1 and I2, I2. We solve those equations simultaneously for I2 and I1. And that is how we find the currents in a circuit using that model. And that is how it's done.